The race will be started and finished by two of the fastest men in history. Ben Johnson runs the first leg for the Canadians in lane four. And Carl Lewis runs the anchor leg for the United States in lane five. The full lineup is China in one, Italy two, USSR three, Canada in four, USA in five, Jamaica in six, West Germany in seven, Hungary in lane eight. The United States, the reigning world record holders and world champions. But Johnson is certain to give the Canadians a tremendous start. And again, he almost takes the breath away. He's so quick into his running, and he's already up to the American Lee McRae. So a brilliant start for the Canadians. But do they have three in the mould of Ben Johnson? Of course not. Lee McNeil running the second leg for the United States and running it well too. The Canadians in a good position. Victor Brishkin ran well there for the Soviet Union. So it's those three clear in the medal positions at the moment. The United States in lane five looking good as carl lewis takes over the soviet union going strong can lewis hold back that difference oh look at that magnificent running by carl lewis and the united states win it from the soviet union 37.9 over time and carl lewis turned it round single-handed and the great man who won the long jump gold medal magnificently here last night who took the silver in the 100 meters at the start of these championships, literally won that relay for the United States because the gap between him and Krylov of the Soviet Union as he took over for the anchor leg would have been too much for most sprinters in the world, but not for Carl Lewis. Krylov, no mean sprinter, takes over for the Soviet Union. And just look at Carl Lewis go into those huge strides it's a beautiful display of relaxed sprinting, and yet all the time you knew it was almost inevitable. Carl Lewis takes his second goal. Well, he's had his ups and his downs, hasn't he, in these world championships, but he has rounded them off with the style that you would expect from one of the world's greatest athletes. So Carl Lewis brings the United States home for gold. The silver to the Soviet Union, the bronze to Jamaica.